Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are doing the, um, the Airedale Terrier. Yes. Pretty cool Terrier, that's me. Yeah. Um, okay, so their, so their overall uh, adaptability is um, two out of five stars. Um, one for five on apartment living. Um, good for novice owners is two out of five stars, and sensitivity level is three out of five stars. It it does not tolerate being alone, as it says right here, out of two out of five stars. Um, does doesn't tolerate cold weather or it cut it, it's three for five on cold weather, three for five on warm weather. So you know, it's around it's you know, it's okay for weather. All around friendliness is four out of five stars. And affectionate with family is four out of five stars, and it's an incredibly kid-friendly dog. And also, it's an incredibly dog-friendly dog. It likes <laughs> dogs. Um, friendly towards strangers is three for five. Um, health uh, grooming is th three. Health, health grooming, yeah, healthy That's grooming, so three for five. Amount of shedding is two out of five stars. Drooling potential is one out of five stars, and it is. Easy to groom is two out of five stars. Does that mean it's easy to groom or not? Easy? Like around the middle. Yeah. Okay. General health is three out of five stars. Um, potential for weight gain is four out of five. Size is three out of five. Trainability though is five out of five. That's good. So you can easily train it. Yep, very easily train it. Easy to train is four out of five stars. Intelligence, intelligence is five out of five stars. So smart dog. And a potential for mouthiness is five out of five stars, which means it could chew things when it's little. Yeah. All right. Prey drive five for five. Tendency to bark or howl four out of five. So that's a uh, kind of a bad one if living in a uh, a place where you can't really uh, have a lot of noise. Um. Uh. Wanderlust potential uh, four for five. Exercise needs is. Five out of five stars. So, so it needs a lot of exercise. I mean, it depends on the dog. I mean, it, it might not need a lot of exercise. It could just, um, yeah. These are my dogs back here, too. Okay. Exercise needs, okay. Yeah. Energy level is five out of five stars. Um, intensity, three out of five stars. And potential for playfulness is five out of five stars. So those are all the characteristics in stars. For the Airedale Terrier. Oh, and, and these all of these um uh, facts are found on dogtime.com. Um, you can go check them out if you want to read some dog facts. Yeah, about loving every single dog. It's pretty cool. All right. Um, okay, now you can go there. Do um, this so they're weigh there. 40 to 65 pounds. So not like a super huge dog, but not the smallest. Not like a Chihuahua. Um, lifespan is 10 to 13 years, so there's obviously more um other dogs that have a better lifespan, but that one's you know not bad. And then here is three facts. Okay, sometimes Airedale Terriers can be hard to handle because almost anything they see moving, they'll want to chase, like cats or cars or squirrels or That's rodents or anything, basically. Well, a laser pointer. Chase. A laser pointer would be a good toy for them. If you if you yeah. think about getting an Airedale, get him a laser pointer because he'd chase that and then he'd be tired. And that's basically what prey drive means, is they, except, you know, cars aren't prey. Well, I mean, they can be to In some dogs. But, yeah. Okay, the Airedale Terrier is an excellent watchdog, but is friendly, inviting guests in Ooh. his home. <laughs> that's a great watchdog. Yeah. That's, that's my kind of watchdog. Airedale Terriers love to chew things, so if you leave home, you should probably leave your dog in a kennel or a crate, even though they might not like it. They could, like, ruin stuff. Um, like, chew a lot, that's a mouth. I, I would get him, like, um... If it were me, I mean, obviously everyone's different, but I would get him like a bigger playpen, so like um, yeah, like baby gates. Baby gates, yeah. Baby gates, like a playpen uh, made out of baby gates, and then I just get him like some old shoes to chew on, because then he could just chew on them, and then he wouldn't uh, maybe uh, chew on anything else too. So that's what I do for my dog, but. I'm just give it old stuffed animals. Yeah, or you can just buy a couple for him. Okay, now Jake, you go first on this. Our, now sorry. you're probably all wondering, would you adopt this dog? I would say it's not. It's okay, okay. So um, Jake goes first. Yes, I would, and here's why. Because they they are um a, a little. I mean, they are very smart dogs. Okay, um, they're very smart dogs. Uh, like I said, they do bite. Um, or not chew. Bite. Uh, they don't bite. Well, they're they play bite. They're play bite. They chew. Um, they're very uh hyper and um. 
Uh, they like to play and got their energy levels pretty high. But you could just get like when he's a puppy, get him like a little playpen, and then eventually um, keep building up the wall so he doesn't jump out when he gets older. So that's why I would adopt that dog because um, it's a very nice dog and it's very smart. And uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Would you adopt this dog? And I would choose yes. Because, oh sorry, sorry, just stop, notebook. Um, all around friendliness is four out of five stars, so that's pretty good. It's friendly, kid friendly, dog friendly. Um, <clears throat> and it's um, health and grooming is three out of five stars, so it's not the worst. And amount of shedding is two out of five stars, and I'm allergic to dogs, so that would be good. For you. Yeah. <clears throat> and they're not the, like, most big dog. No, not really. Um, they oh, and their trainability is five. Sorry. Yes, that's, so that's, that's good. Yeah, so we have to do that part. All right, well, we're gonna thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video, which is the Akita video. So, hope to see you later.